Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Star Will. Yeah, I finally made it through the series of mysterious encounters standing between you and entering the dream. Congratulations! Now you just need to enter the dream pool and send up your room and operate it according to the instruction, and you'll be dreaming in no time. Today we are going to the dream pool. It seems crazy! We just step in like as if we're gonna go to sleep? Lie down in the dream pool? You curl your body lined in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your wrist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper to your ears, <laughs> accomplished by the trolling of evening balls. The wild wind results through the barren plains, while neglates seagulls, swans, and ravens as their siblings the calling. Painly swings. You wonder what dream you divine into this and swallow drift into strollness. If it's a woman, I prefer Kafka's voice over this. <sighs> With your clothes on? Relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Why are you wearing your clothes? With your clothes, you serious? Just focus on Should you strip off or something? Imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> okay, that is not a dream I look like. It seems more like visions to me than this. You want to wake up? Talk to Ratio. Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> It seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Uh, where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. Where's that chest? Well, regardless... Is that another room or something? Be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Uh, 
I did not mean to offend. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang... I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... off. Help me look into her... Huh? <laughs> Well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. Yeah, he's like, but he's like, how no, I'm done. He's like, forget these, I'm just gonna walk away from this weirdo with those. So this is guys. the dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out. And what was that weird noise just now? Oh, we're back here again? The dreamscape hotel. Under construction. Please receive instructions from the Ho service. Call me Ho. Aft and enter the through the designated. Uh oh. Uh, we've seen this sign again. Huh. Well, doors are open, uh, open from the side. Uh, hold up, let's look around for a second then. Hmm. Uh, you. No. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it and you shall be good in an audience. This way! Can you see me? Over here! Nisha? Please, come this way! Oh, I just realized, I um... thought I heard a familiar voice. Is it coming from the painting? Yeah? I just realized, I forgot this one child I gotta do. So, once we're out of here, let's do that next. Ah, <sighs> you're here. Wonderful! Nisha! Hey, little boy. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Uh... We meet again. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. Yeah. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The Reverie in the Dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Okay, talk to Bottom. What happened to the weather? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? Reverie, okay. I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. What is golden hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I could explain it one more time. Golden hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony. And its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. Hmm, I just pick up a note. Note? Did you find it in the room? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. How do I get to Golden Hour? You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. When you say it's Golden Hour, it reminds me of that song. Well, I like that song. In the, um, the although I upload the Nightclub behind version. This door is the real Venaconi. I'm looking forward to it. He doesn't seem right at all. Enter the dreamscape. Just touch it. Ah! To the other side of the pedagony. I walk in. Did I? Uh, uh. I Holy shit, I'm falling! <laughs> Wait, this is okay? Okay, I thought he was panicking. Huh? Huh? <laughs> um... Actually, he wakes up. <laughs> what the 
hell? What? <sighs> what? Is this for real? <sighs> oh, it's you. Uh, are you alright? Uh, are we in heaven or? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. This is illegal? <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Robin's giving me a slight nod to Oni Chan, then locks her into a gaze with yours. She smiles, and you see ripples shimmy in the depths of her. Lake Green Eyes, followed by the mighty voice of emerging from the depths of the pool. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one of the food of the time space. You resonate with the becoming into the obscene fusion of Frank eyes. Your heart dumps, leading this symphony. Don't worry. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. <sighs> okay? Is that it? Oh, okay, never mind. They chant instant complaints and the same food in your chest begins to flow again. A gentle one adjusts you with your within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melody slows down, fades away like a lullaby. A seven color illusion discreet care sees the top of your head and closes your eyes. It was tense and compassionate it. You feel comfort and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a little like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. Uh, what does that mean? What did you just do to me? I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by Memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. That's true. This is the... Indeed. But still... We don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! Okay, March? Ah, she texted me! <laughs> also, I guess I was in the dream! You there yet? I'm there now. Yay! I'm just gonna judge a theme because I'm missing Yang. They're all went to the different dreamscape. I'm at the moment, ducks. I'm planning to check out a deduction. I'm gonna be a pain to meet up again, so why do we split for now? You have to go now? I heard of Juicy Sale stores are super famous. Can you please check it out for me? Pretty please? If it's really fun, then I head over there next. Okay. The dreamscape oh. sales store. Should I visit it? What's this? This place is bustling. There are so many Wishio. people living in the dreamscape. Hold on. We got Dr. Wish on my thing. Why, why is he on that? Okay, what's we'll sent before you is the going out for his person. Tell me, what's your first impression of the city? Hmm. Uh, I feel in love with this first sight. In love first sight between you and the going out. Would fall into love with the place like that? Most people as for you. You do. Which is how Pericoli managed to draw so many... Dream catchers. Forget all the troubles that has ever aligned. You enjoy the charm of the city of festivals to its full. Do do remember to keep some wits about you. At least the sea swallow you all. Hmm. Okay. Now the stickers. A bottle. Um. Wait. It could be these two. Oh, I see. That's fifteen percent. What about this? Okay, I was trying to go here. Uh, be with the guys. Okay, that's done. 
Okay, now that's done and complete. Look at the city. Wait, how much chests is it around here? 32! Oh, that's a lot! Oh, sh that's a lot! This is like a Batmobile! Wait, can you crash me? Excuse me! Hello! Try to kill my wife. Okay, anyways. <gasps> a beast though. Girl, the little girl bells watches you with the head tilt, flapping its switching ears. You certainly know if this is a cry for the critter. Not to mention it is a way to kill little slumber. Oh, and then just kill a little bell hug. How could you say no? Submit to your heart desires. Give up. You just make the same signal once we face a bell like this. You walk forward gently, quietly. Good. It hasn't worn up, but it's still watching you this, this whole innocent eyes. You begin to imagine a soft touch that falls upon your hand and wondered, is this e the happiness that you've been pursuing all along? Just then, you seem to catch a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eye. Something that has absolutely no business being here. It perceives is so offensive, like marbles in a soda bottle or lipstick of the shirt club color. This is impossible to ignore. You move and stop. Hey, on, oh, something's not right. You only just realize something isn't right. Have you recovered from the vision of your blind impulse? Did you notice this whole time the sign hanging above the coach doesn't say Austria Bear Club at all? Take a deep breath and don't get excited. At least they aren't angry right now, and you still have plenty of time to think about murder's dream. Explain what you just did. Seeing as they haven't just displayed the size of Bear Club, is telling one reason the court is a painful. Definitely decided to. Maybe just a schedule. Ooh, a pass. Before I forget, we got Misha to do next. He's a quiet type, which is so interesting. So, press E for this thing. Mm -hmm. like a uh, what the hell is this? Um, a mop? That is your weapon? The hell is that? Okay, I'm gonna. Ugh, the smell of sin is thick. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you mad trying to strike? I'm gonna know which one. Alright. Enemy targets detected. Mm, go I'll Pella. There's Pella! You go Pella. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. And then blast the ray. Boom. Okay, what's your E ability with your mop? <laughs> funny. This sounds this ability sounds funny. Oh okay, let's go. Let's go, all oh, style. The ten lords decree. Well, give it to the main character. Hereby As in the child character. The two on my spine. Ah! Oh. He died being cold. Too cold. Take this. Count your sins. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh no, I don't think so. What's your alt, buddy? Um, I don't know. Not again. I'm running away. No! Jesus Christ, how is he painful? Okay, he appeared into a pillar. Blast away. Oh, he's still hurting. I shall judge you for the right, let's do E. Let's dive into today's duties. Uh, is there any difference? You look the same, but. Yeah, you're cold. Look at you. Inputting commands. Boom. Enemy data secure. Net markers active. Time for good old counter attack. Then blast away. Not a lot, but better nothing, right? You go after the blue bus. What the pun? Oh, you have, you go after the, the people say child bus. That is not a child. I don't know okay. how to I hope I don't mess this up. So E has more damage than the other. Excuse me, please! Excuse you! There's literally an enemy in front of you! Why would you say that? That's kinda of funny. You still deny your still count your sins. Oh there he is. He's like, ow. By the will of the ten lords. Oh I the ten lords decree. Hereby ordained. Nice. Her again. What do you want with her? Enemy this is taking a while, but this is fine by me. Oh. Six thousand. 
That's more than all ability. <laughs> oh, it's star, yo. Take this. Okay, round two. How much time do I have? Not again. I'm running away. Sorry. Why do you say sorry to an enemy that is literally trying to kill us? Okay. Now that's done. That's hilarious to get things done. Okay, let's keep going through the city. Huh. I'm gonna leave that alone. So, I gotta go. Right here. Okay. Huh! Ah! I'm being harassed! Wait a minute. Kafka! I mean, not one person. Kafka! Got it! Fuck off! Die! Did that billboard just move? Yeah. Creepy ass. Yeah, you back off. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the noodles, guys. I'm gonna go collect this. Oh, this is getting more interesting. I will collect them. Alright, so sticker wise, I got this to use. Huh, is this so cool actually? What about the Kelter? Mm, I want more Kelters to use. Do you move again? Do you? Eh? Do you? Do you? Seriously? Why are you harassing? Alright. Oh my god, really? Kafka? Got it, honey. Shut up! Ugh. You stay down. Another one! They don't even scale me. You think I scale? Oh, no chest. There's a lot of chests. I mean, if you look at the map, there's more chests I've collected on this map area. That's crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you shut up? You are annoying to society. You could stop that. It's like they want to attack. Why are there floating ice creams? You got a cone and crush smells broken because of the bit in your mouth. What a sad experience. What if I eat all of them? <laughs> Black one goes, I'm a fat test today, I'm gonna eat! <laughs> Stop, do we have to eat me? Plus, we can get along in peace. He's in one bite. Oh! <laughs> Delicious! Okay, yeah, nothing to collect, I'll take it. Quick weed. Okay, that's why I got openly teleported. According to the map. That's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? The fuck is this? Trailblazers from the asteroids. Welcome to Dreamscape Center. How do you know who I am? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, sir. <laughs> Dr. Edward is happy to assist you. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to private donations. <laughs> we have it all. If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pentagon, isn't it? Yes. Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape. And indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. And that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream book. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. It is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Akifili. I can assure you that this dream book is perfect for you. Hmm. Uh, how many credits do I have to pay? Uh -huh. Promises to let every new customer enjoy their first dream bubble for free. I have enough, I can still pay for it. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Trust the dream bubble. Your eyeball? Ugh. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? The hell? How come Bob was in here? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! 
Uh, I'm listening. Uh, I'm listening. Uh, do I have to do the voice actor over for acting myself? My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akivili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akivili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with. I'm able to replicate it from your subconscious. Oh. Um. Uh, that's the cut it could be in the future. Your subconscious has vast potential, sir. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Let's see, my seven dang horn, pom pom. Let me see who else. Himiko, well, myself, of course, myself is a different gender, of course. DIFFERENT GENDER?! I wanna see that, actually. Your voice in a different gender? I'll start to challenge you. I wanna hear no it. Matter. Dr. Edward will make it happen. A replication. Come on, I wanna hear it, I wanna hear it. Now, you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Do you, as well as the other passengers, Let's listen carefully. take responsibility for the following malicious Conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykean Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Do you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> Is that Stelly voice? You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. Who voices that? I don't know what that is. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pom-pom pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. How do you eat? Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but... I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the express databank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive. Hmm. Uh, did Soul Girl really exist in the area? My apologies. By order of the Alfalfa family, delicious, first quenching Soul Glad is the only brand of beverage permitted to appear in recorded dreamscapes. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? <sighs> Sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. <sighs> who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. What? You know, if I could go back to choose the pom pom, I would choose that. How is your experience? Hmm, it's quite fascinating. <laughs> This dream level aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream level again, you can purchase it with credits. <gasps> uh, so, that first dream level for free was just a sale pitch, huh? This dream level is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Wait, where are you going to buy it? I'll buy it. Please, I have enough! I do, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Oh, All that grinding, uh, you know. Hey, as this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a sticker for you. 
You can use it to decorate your dreamscape hats and commemorate your unique trip to Pentacle. Okay. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, yeah. Can't expect it to be that easy. Okay, and they open my phone real quick. That way. Get her. What? What's going on the background? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just real quick. We got another seeker. Ugh, I'm kind of pissed at the fact that you don't even get a chance to do it again. Ugh, it wasn't funny. I would love that, you know, but nope. It's a nope, never mind that. Hmm, wait, I could use these stickers? Oh, I don't know that. Okay, another one. Uh, let's use this for more to make it 90%. So, can I? It's just these guys, okay. It's just those What's guys. What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Yeah, what the hell's going on? What was that? Now. You better not. Hey! Oh my god. Kafka! Got it, honey! Fuck off! Yeah, stay down. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Stole away? Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Uh. Uh, I'll do my best to protect a pun pretty young lady. Why would I say that? <laughs> I just smiled at her! Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! We're fighting! Doing this battle? Are you si- What are those enemies?! Okay. A dog? And some sort of- What kind of enemy is that? Broadcasting. Why are you the radio demon? Of this universe? Nah, -uh, not in my watch. Nah, uh -huh, I'm going to make sure you're the fucking dead. Yeah, you're goofy. My turn. Are you happy? That's kind of weird. With me out here, how can we lose? You can do this. <laughs> Time for a shot. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Bye bye. Whoa. Relax. Cut in the net. Oh, this cat cuffs. You know I would do this. <laughs> Painful. This music, oh my god, the defense is destroyed. They're getting destroyed. Okay, at least it's not a lot of damage, yeah. that's good. Ah ha ha! You don't need no TV. Stand still. Double the attack. Uh, who uses shield now? March, you need a shield. Right there while I give you a present! Naughty children, Don't you're in that shape. Get out of here. Breathing sensation. Uh, Remember, swing at you. There you go. Ooh, I like that. It explodes. Ooh, I like that from Black Swan. It does that. Yep, you're done. Goodbye, boy. <laughs> oh, the so called radio demon. <laughs> okay, that's done. That's enough, boys. Who's that? Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> Well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. Yeah, fuck off. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. 
I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Okay, who's the silver hail guy? The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacony. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Yeah, good. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Hmm. What? Not for free? What do you mean? Galactic ball balls at your service. <laughs> you're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Pentacony? Hmm. Uh, are the nameless really that famous? <laughs> you bet! The Interastral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? I I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> hmm, that's awesome. I'm happy to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Hmm. Over here. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Stop! Harassing me! I am trying to get around here with this with Firefly. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. <gasps> okay! Sure, why not? That sign better move the a bottle. Oh, that's what they are. Okay, we'll be eating. Damn McDonald's! We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, "In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice." Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here: clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. Okay. Thanks. That's very nice of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Do I see another thing to collect? Hold on, hold on. Let me collect something real quick. What is this? Another sticker. Damn. This is interesting. Okay. Let me go put this down before we continue my way. I found most of these. Uh, I could go right here. A hundred percent. Twenty jade. Nice! Free jades for free! This is probably the most iconic dishes! Take your pick, it's my treat. This is your money, right? Let's see. A burger? Clock like pizza? Potato fries? The dreamy color three flavors? Hmm, I want some protein. Can I buy more? Oh, I could. 
<laughs> Ice cream too, and I'm gonna buy this too. And then I'm gonna oh no no not that. And then I'll buy this too, and I'll buy this too. I made that bitch broke. <laughs> hey, you okay? I bought this. Um, this is. Are you done ordering? You, you have great taste. <laughs> I, I'll get the bill. Mm. Uh oh. Now let's go this way. You sound so nervous. Is it because I spent all that money? <laughs> I'm sorry. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> this is not McDonald's. I was kidding. <laughs> okay, we'll be going next. <sighs> Can you not sing that to my ears? Is this we're going. This is the luxury store. Can you stop us? <laughs> okay. Keep going. We'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. I know we're gonna sing by signs. They're being harassed. Being harassed by signs is hilarious. <laughs> uh, ooh, ice cream. Would I want to take that? Nah, I'll be good. Don't run me over. Over here. Follow me. Right behind you. With the black swan. Please hey, come look. Come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Hey, it's the clock on silver TikTok. Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. This is like a Dizzy World version of Hawkeye Style Style Wheel. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. That's crazy. Hmm. His kill design is a little surrealist. Um, I guess it's because the animation has a retro style. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Hmm. Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. No. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone, the founder of the dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There were different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claimed that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Uh -huh, I know how this goes. You gotta charge me a lot just to take a picture, picture, aren't you? Of course not. What were you thinking? Hey! 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 Help! Help me! You heard a help. The cry is coming from the clock's with eyelash. What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Huh! What? Uh. Ask of a commercial picture? Yeah! You okay. Want a photo with him? Sure! Please give me your phone, I'll take it for you. Huh? With that in the background? That's hilarious! I mean, okay. Joy. It's done. It came out great. You're very photogenic. Help! Help me! Pull me out, please! You took a nice pic with Clocky, but the others are still begging for help. Oh, okay, okay, okay! Yank. Um, as I lay out the jewel chip, the bird flies away. Before you let, it seems it has offered some kind of reward. The main thing is you need to go to the tree first. Plus, you can meet with it again there, so just exactly the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? 
Why did you suddenly jump just now? Uh. Uh. I rescued a bird. A bird with sharp edges and points. You didn't, you didn't a see bird it? A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um. I don't think I saw it. Well. <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop. Which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Hmm. I guess only me could see that. That's hilarious. <gasps> Chest! Yeah! Collect those and then let's move on to the next location. <sighs> what are we staring at? Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater. Another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Uh, okay, thanks for telling me that. Oh, there you guys real quick then. Another sticker of tape. Okay, let me do this. Is this a fifth one? Okay, in the pleasure doesn't maze, you find yourself following the kind of local guide. You are able to judge if Fireflies is the correct guide or not. But you feel I she's just a puss by my life. No friends. As Firefly, you think you can become a friend. You trust to insight to others and believe you have a chance required to have many every younger maiden you encounter in your journey into your pussy person in your life. Stickers, we got a lot of them. Okay, one over here, and then I'll place this one that's golden. Oh, you look very <laughs> pretty there. And you will go right here. And for this one, clippers. You go right here. 60%. Good to go. Huh? Wait a minute. There's more than what I think it is? Like this one? No, not the characters. Uh, what else? There's an exclamation point here for some reason. Well, I'll leave that alone for now. Okay, move on. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. Um, hold on. You peer into the big hole, but all you'll be is the gears in the abyss darkness. Suddenly, your eyes open in the abyss and begin to stare at your eyes. Uh, your gaze. You have such a gaze. No longer mean to stare in the telescope. Huh? Really? That's it? Huh? That's kind of weird. Okay, that's five. Ooh, look at this. I'm just doing this to get some shit done, you know. Let's walk. Da la 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 la. The snow. Wait, is that a clock? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check the clock real quick. Oh! Tick tock after that mood. This is a puzzle! Tick tock, please go check with another Tick tock. Tick tocker, do you guess I want to quit this job now? Tick tock, I have to play guitar, cock day and night. I don't have any time for myself. I'm so busy of my friend who turned into the. Dream job troop. At least they can be themselves. No. Black Swan. Oh, a puzzle. Okay. Occasionally, you may find malfunction drink tickets in Penacony. Interacting with them allows you to enter the anchor soul and repel these poor guys. In this case, some building blocks are interchangeable, and you can either drag or to move them or click to rotate them. Use the blocks to help Clocky complete the path and co collect gears to repel the mine. In addition, there is a wonderful dream mirror that we could place existing paths. Once a pathway to do gears to a gear is complete, Kuroki will automatically collect the gear. Collect all the gears to complete the repairs. At the motion, you can wake in the repair dream tickets to receive gifts from them. Hmm. Okay. So. Hold up. Kuroki, move forward. Um, okay, I'm gonna guess. Oh, there's a mirror here. There you go. Easy. Open! 
Tick to Uika, since both we can be usable, I'm going to click TikTok Jokers. I'm going to skip the other dreams to take a break. Bye. Huh. That guy was weird. Okay, moving on. Okay, where are we going next exactly? Why are the arms out? They want hugs? Everything here is themed around Soul Glide. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. All oh, that means I hear from TikTok is heal. Oh, signs! This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Aideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Aideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa Juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's Dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. She ultimately freezes. In the mini flow, you notice the cautious shirt in the girl's face, freezing jetty into your brow. Or what's all behind you? Uh, what are you looking at? Throw it into a warm and gentle disposal. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Something was behind you? Huh. What was it though? Just keep on going. Don't want too fat. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Is that guy okay? He's puking! Oh, I must have awkward when she pukes. After okay, you're speaking sorry. By the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Careful, Hold though. on, the high defense needs to. Sometimes these <laughs> animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. And, uh, Hold on, Kafka. You, but much. Same height. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Huh, it's pretty cool. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Okay, yank number. Does a yank? I see a I see something down here. Let me grab it. Let me grab. Chip chip, open the little prize. It's me, chip. I thought you saw a fearful soul case. I thought it was just water. Just a bummer. Chip, let's go back to your Mr. Golf and ask some food, chip. Um, anyways, are you okay, dude? And I'm gonna leave you alone. Just for now, you know, just for now. Hi there! This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID tokens for him? Of course! Please show me your Dreamscape Pass. Name... Here's your Dreamscape Pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time! How many tokens are there? Ten! You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacony to the fullest. Thanks! <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's live to the fullest. Let's do it! Let me see, which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Is she following me? Oh, she is! It's like one a day. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna turn to March for this. Two girls here! Yeah, woohoo! Now, let's do this. Oh. Okay, instant one token. Well, my luck is bad. I'm kidding. Wow, it's called saving. On your first attempt. Impressive. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, is there more you gotta do here, or is there any other you can do, actually? Is this all the good we gotta- What about this? 
golden cup machine? Marsh got the two? Okay. Go power. If they had this in the theme park, I wanna go. I would wanna go. Big prize. Eh, nothing special. Damn, that's big. How could they afford that? How's that possible, by the way? I'm gonna touch it. What was it explodes on my face? Just three of those, really? I was hoping. <gasps> Just! Ah! Much! Don't cause commotions! Okay. More chests over here. Hello, light decks. Oh, right. Well, two. Here we go. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Um, okay. Mars got luck. Give me Humnoid's prize or something good. Fuck! Just give me food only. Why only food? Why is the only food? I don't want food. We got enough food, don't we? Okay. We got free food. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's do. What's taking Firefly so long? Huh? She's heading towards the bar? The bar? That's a good price, actually. Now we'll go a lot about that. Look for Firefly? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna look for her. Oh, wait, so. They, he said the boy, right? Another chest, he said. Hello. Hold on, let me get this real quick. Another clock disposal. I'll do that, like, another time. That's not a buy. Is it? Oh, there she is. Hey! What are you doing here? What do you say? Ready to call it a day? I'm a bit tired too. Let's sit down at the snack bar for a while. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? Hmm. It's nice. Everything is just ma everywhere is just magical. I know, right? It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. Hmm. Uh. Are you really stowaway? I. I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. What you looking at? Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. What Did are you, you doing? Did you travel here alone? Uh, my friends went to the other dreamscapes. Oh, I see. Why disappointed? You found I'm love sure at first sight. You realize it or not? I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because well someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. What are you talking about? He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has that shampoo! I want those clothing! are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. The hey, shampoo. Well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. Hey. Blazer guy. <laughs> That's our idiot version of Ito. It's been such a long time, old friend. 
What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Sample? Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember Oh my me? god. After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabon? That's not my, she didn't get, this is, that is not my, okay? Just because she has the same height, different heels, and the boobs are a little smaller than hers, that is not much. And the hair color too. This is... Uh, you should get your eyesight checked. Are you sure Miss March 7 looks like this? My name is Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of his. Hmm. So when did I acknowledge you as my friend? Oh, uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I could do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Uh... Well, um, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Um, I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, I'm gonna bail. Watch this clip. I'll see you later. Sayonara.